Hi again. I'm Cigar Dad. And for those of you, I don't know how to do uh, YouTube. I'm learning. So I don't know how that you can leave comments or anything like that. I don't do it when I watch it on the big screen, so I really don't know how you do it when you, when you do it. Okay. Oh, and I am Cigar Dad at Cigar Dad with two Ds. Cigar, D-A-D-D, -D, at gmail.com. If you have any questions whatsoever about cigars or you just want to vent or ask, and I'm in the uh, Ocean City, Baltimore area, that between the coast and Baltimore, so I know most of the shops, and, and uh, I love cigars, and I love talking about cigars. So I'm sitting here. And it's raining pretty, pretty bad out. So I'm watching videos about cigars. And guys like me that are sitting here, guys like us, that are watching and, and looking at, at cigars and they're thinking, oh, I'll just do a YouTube video. Listen, I picked on rookie cigar smokers. I... Uh, now I want to share a quick opinion because the first video I did was almost 10 minutes and if you watched it, I appreciate it very much and I, I'm learning as I'm going here. Like I said, I've been smoking a long time and I really enjoy fine cigars. I'm, I think that I have to define to a lot of people, perhaps, fine cigars because I already spoke about the best and it's subjective and people giving their opinion and it's just my opinion. But I'm watching this video about a guy. His video is 21 minutes and 32 seconds long. He's smoking in a garage, and he's talking about cheap cigars. And he cut a cigar in half. He smoked it a couple times before, and it was horrible to him. It made him sick almost, and he threw it out the window And as he's driving along. Listen, I'm going to share with you something my grandfather told me when I was 17, 18 years old. My grandfather said so eloquently that life is too short for a bad cigar. And here we have this fella, 21 and a half minutes, in his cigar smoked garage, which is cool. My favorite place to smoke is driving in my truck. Second place to smoke is on the beach. It used to be the first until they changed the laws in Ocean City. You, you can't smoke on the beach in Ocean City. So I'm the guy with the white hair, and I go out in 400 feet offshore, and I'm smoking my cigar out there floating on my back. True story. Life is too short for a bad cigar. The fact that this guy is interviewing... He's doing an expose on cheap cigars. Listen, my personal opinion, that's ridiculous. You need to do a life study, if you like cigars, on fine cigars. We already know that cow shit probably is not going to taste pretty good. So we don't even try it. If you see a bundle of cigars, and it might be, it doesn't matter what it costs, really, if it's a 15th tier level of, of, of cigar company, and you get a bundle for $12, the chances are, at that point, it might not be too damn good. This guy keeps going on about smoking this horrible cigar, and he admits, I think the fundamental issue, and I've only been in it for eight minutes and 30 seconds because I, I, I was honestly not watching him as much as I'm trying to format how I want to do my video and I want to do it shorter. He's wasting his life and we're wasting our life watching the video. He doesn't get the taste of a cigar. He doesn't understand that. He says it in his video. He doesn't really understand. It. He never tasted the nuances of the, the creams and coffee flavors. And that's all he went to. He didn't even go to the other complexity issues of, of buttermilk, butterscotch, coffees, creams, espressos, burnt toast, burnt leathers. 
And in and of itself, those things may sound common, but when they're melded together to create a great smoke, that's art. That's really art. That's art form. That is akin to creating our, our favorite booze, a, a, a really fine cigar, like a, a Davidoff anniversary number one, or even a Monte, a Monte Cristo number two, or a Padron anniversary series cigar, that is a homogenation. How you like that? A homogenation of serious skill, great tobacco, and time. So please don't think about the price of a cigar when you go to buy it. Think about the things that you like to eat or drink and how you have to talk to a tobacconist if you're new. You have to be honest with a tobacconist. And you and when they offer to offer to help you, not like walking into Walmart. Well, Walmart people don't ask you for help if you need help. They in fact they run from you hoping you're not going to ask. So but you have to talk to your tobacconist and say I am new at this. That's right. If you're a man, you have to say, I am new to this, if you're new to this. And even us guys that have a lot more experience, you know, our palates change through the years. So, you know, if you like tea or coffee or weak tea, weak coffee or or. or you know, you, 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 your tastes change as you get older, but you can find a cigar to match that and complement that. Smoking a cigar with a cappuccino is a beautiful thing. It doesn't have to be a scotch or it doesn't have to be whiskey. It doesn't have to be amaretto. It can be anything. But if you're going to try a cigar and you're going to take the time, you're going to take the money, Don't waste your life on something cheap. That's why I got irritated when this young man on YouTube is telling me what the best cigars are when he was wrong. Case in point. La Gloria Cabana Series R, number seven. I love big smokes. And if you are a strong coffee lover, espresso lover, dark booze, more robust, flavorable things. Try that. Maybe your first smoke shouldn't be the number seven. Pick the Series R number seven, but maybe get it in a number five because it's a rich, but it's a smaller smoke, less time. And if you start to turn green, put it down. Just because a cigar is five, six, seven, eight inches long, which is like an A or a, 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 a size A would be like almost a nine inch cigar. You don't need that. You have to think about time and it's not a matter of just time. It, it is also a matter of the complexity and in, in the fullness of the cigar. Smoke half of it. Put it back in the wrapper very carefully or put it back in your humidor. Or only pull it out halfway in your wrapper, get a, a, a larger ring gauge. It doesn't have to be a, a fancy cutter like an iCar. You can get a regular one that's big enough that you can go over the wrapper and cut it. See if you like it. If you do like it, you got another half hour, another half smoke to smoke later. If you don't like it, stop. Stop. Oh, I'm into this thing for $20, $30. No, sir. No. Listen, good advice. I'm passing it on to the next generation. Life is too short for a bad cigar. A bad woman. Bad meal. And ladies, life is too short for a bad cigar. A bad man. A bad meal. I don't have to teach, and I'm not here to teach anybody anything. I, I'm, I'm sharing my, my life experience of cigars. It's got to be fun. It's got to feel good. you got to be legal. If you're younger than 18, then you shouldn't be watching my video. 
unless you're doing an essay for school. Anyway, if you have any questions, Cigar Dad, with two D's at the end, Cigar Dad at gmail.com, and I'll answer you. Have a wonderful day.